Hi, I'm Debbie Martin from Dyer, Indiana. I've been an advisor with Creative Memories for 23 years, and I'm going to show you a little fun paper braiding today and then how I use it in my albums. So I'm using the decorative trimmer today. I've already made a first cut, and as you can see, I've got a few cut out, but I'm just going to show you how to quickly braid. So you just start with your trimmer, and you are going to push it all the way up or down. If you notice, I kind of started in a little bit and then pulled it down. That way it's a little easier on your paper. Okay, so we've got two. And if you can see, these are going the same direction. When you're going to braid, you need to flip it over. So as you flip it over, just kind of hold it. And then you're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way down like that. And that's two. You can do three or four. I'll show you how to do that. Just unbraid these. You're going to pile them on top of each other. And whichever color you want to see the most is the one you would pile on top. So if I wanted to see the yellow, if I wanted to see the white. So I'm going to pile that on this direction like that. And then these two on top of each other. And you can see those are going the same way. So I need to flip these over. So just like you were doing when you were braiding two, you're just going to go over, under, over, under, all the way down to the bottom. And then when you get down to the bottom, you're going to see where the little magic happens. And you're just kind of pushing one of them up or down so you can see a little bit more of that color. And then do the same thing with the other until you can see all four of your colors. Now, you can see the ends are a little bit off. When you put it down in your page, you'll be able to just trim those off so it'll still be 12 by 12 when you're done. Uh, but that's just, you can flip it over and you see more of the other colors. So that's a little fun braiding that you can do with the decorative trimmer. Now, I like to use them on my album pages too. Oh, here's a little one I did thinner. You can see these are super thin. So this is kind of fun to play with. Uh, another fun thing that you can do with the decorative trimmer is make a ribbon. So as we cut this one, we had it all the way up to the top. If we want to pull it out and pull it down, and push it all the way to the bottom and then just kiss that edge right there this is going to give you a really fun ribbon that you can use on your pages you can cut them really fun and pretty um, so I'm going to show you what I do with some of my pages we're going to cut a couple of these and I'm going to show you what they look like on a page Get rid of this, pull it up, just kind of kiss that because you really want this to be equal. And it doesn't really matter if you start at the top or bottom, you just want to make sure that you are doing it for all your pieces at the top and the bottom. We're going to cut one more of these. And this time I'm doing it all at the top. Okay. Fix that. It works really well in cardstock, um, but this paper you have to be just a little more careful with because it's thinner. So just keep that in mind if you're using thinner paper. And then we're going to need two of these. So we're going to push it up, trying to keep it the same distance that we did our other ones because we kind of want it to be close. There's one and two. And when you're using designer print paper, it's nice because they're double sided. So it's kind of nice that you can look at your paper ahead of time and decide which side you want to show up because you can see these were all cut the same direction. And I really wanted this blue side to show. So I cut it with my sandpaper up. So now I'm just going to twist these, go over and under, all the way down. Now the, really the only way you're gonna be able to put these down if you wanna, is gonna be with repositionable tape. It'll be nice and quick and easy for you. And we're gonna do the blue side up again. I'm going to show you how pretty this looks on a page, too. All the way down. Just like that. And then we're going to put a little bit of repositionable tape. If you haven't tried this, 
this is life changing. Little clear dots. And then I've got a couple pages here going, so we're going to start with this. This is the Spring Medley. It's just gorgeous. Here we have our other page. We're going to want to keep those both the same. So we want to do it the same amount down. And keep it straight. Awesome. And then we're going to add a few little stickers to this. I have a cutting guide that I use for my paper pack to pretty pages. Um, super easy, nice and big look, print so everybody can see it. And then we're going to add a few little stickers. Flip this around because I like it like this a little bit better. Put the stickers in. Like that. little stickers to this side. And we need a few little embellishments, so let's add a little something something here. And I do love my foam squares, so I've already got some foam squares on the back of this, because foam squares make everything fun. And I've already started a little here and then you're good to go so these are really fun to add to your pages thanks for tuning in today